What is up guy? 360 Wave Richard and in today's video is going to be about when you should start combing so make sure you guys stay tuned for this video. Alright guys now I get this question asked a lot. When should I start combing? Now I see a, a couple of people that's, that comb and they're barely starting off and they start combing and they don't have any waves, they don't have ripples, the hair's still completely straight and they start combing. Now guys do not start combing when your hair is still completely straight. Combing is only for when your waves are fully set in and when you have your waves Combing is basically just bedding your connections and getting depth in your waves So when I see other people combing and they don't have nothing I'm kind of confused like why are you why are you combing when you don't have waves yet? You know, it's just pointless of just combing without any waves or or not even ripples when you don't even have any waves now when you st want to start combing you want to start combing when your waves are fully set in and they're set and they're locked in. They're not ripples. So make sure when you start combing, make sure you're not combing your ripples. Make sure you guys have waves, actual waves. And then once you see that your waves are all the way set in, then that's when you can better them and make them look deeper and also better them in connection wise. Now the combs that I use, I use this comb. It's a like a one dollar comb. I use this. It works really, really good. And then I have a stool structure. I know a lot of you guys know what that uh, comb is. I don't have it on me right now, but I use this comb and I use a stool structure to comb my hair. And also, guys, if you're combing your hair, make sure you're doing it in the right pattern, the way you brush, because you don't want to comb. You want to comb straight down, straight down, just like that. You don't want to go off of your pattern at all because it will mess up your waves and will mess up the your connections. So make sure to be careful while you're combing. I suggest while you're combing, I suggest you have a mirror on you so you can see so you won't go off track or off of your pattern just like how brushing is. When you brush, you want to see your angles and so you won't go off of your, your pattern. Same as combing, make sure you guys are looking at yourself when you're combing. Do not blind comb because you will most likely go off of your pattern. And you guys don't want to do that because you guys will cause forks like that. Now me, when I comb, whenever I comb my hair, I unrag and then my hair is super flat. So I unrag and then I comb my hair out. So I comb it out to get them lifted back up because they're super compressed from being compressed from the do-rag in my wave cap. So you don't want them super like all compressed and looking like that. So what I do is I get a comb, I comb out my waves, and then after I do a little comb session, I brush my hair for an hour, maybe an hour and 30 minutes around there. And then when I'm done with the, my brush session, I end it off again with another comb session. My comb sessions aren't very long. They're maybe like about like five to 10 minute comb sessions. Not very long. Just so basically I do it just to lift up my hair. And then I also do a little, little comb sessions, like 10, 10 minute comb sessions just to get my uh, connections better and to get my waves deeper, obviously, because that's what combing is for. And I also see a, um, a couple wavers that do this too. They comb more than they brush. Now me, I'm all about brushing, so I brush more than I actually comb. So me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really suggest when you get waves to comb more than you brush, because brushing is very important. It's more important than combing, because brushing is what gets you waves. And if you keep on brushing and keep brushing and brushing, all you're gonna do is improve your waves and improve how they look. This combing is what makes your waves a lot better though in your depth and in your connections so yeah guys make sure you comb when you start combing make sure your waves are fully set in do not comb when you're a beginner and you don't have waves and you only have maybe you have ripples don't comb at all do not comb just focus on brushing guys in the beginning only time you should be combing like i said is when your waves are set in but any, anyways guys it's just a real quick video of when you guys should start combing because i know uh, a lot of people do this do this mistake of of combing in the beginning of their wave journey when you guys shouldn't really be doing it because there's really nothing to comb but maybe you're you're just combing your hair so really guys there's not really nothing to comb so make sure you guys when you guys comb start combing 
do it when you have waves all right guys now before we end this video off i'm gonna give you guys a quick comb session because this video is about combing so i'm about to do a comb session for you guys and then end this video off and also guys if you didn't know i had just cut my my wolf off my 15 week wolf so make sure you guys go watch that video too Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment onto what video you guys would like to see next. And also, don't forget to go follow my Instagram. The Instagram should have been in the beginning of the video. But it's been 360 Wave Richard, and I see you guys in the next video.